Hello friends, God bless you. How to create a system to help you fast effectively in Jesus' mighty name. In this uh, video, I share a system that can help you fast. If you struggle with a fasting or if you're a beginner fasting or if you find it uh, difficult to maintain a period of uh, fasting, then this uh, video is for you. Watch to the end. My name is Sylvia and um, James Clear in his book Atomic Habits, he shares how small habits create remarkable change when you create a system. So from that um, concept, I was able to develop my own system, which I call the 3710 system. And this uh, system is able to help you just make small changes so that uh, you can develop uh, the habit of uh, fasting. And as you uh, make those small uh, changes, you're going to be able even uh, to uh, be able to fast effectively. Because when you develop that habit of just uh, fasting for a short period of time, because we know also hour is a, is a unit of time, the second, the minute, the hour, the day, the week, the month, then the year. So you just uh, pick a unit of time, which is, uh, you can start with um, an, an hour, because if we say you fast for like 30 minutes, that may not be um, a something that is a sacrifice for most people. So I came up with uh, three hours. So we know that uh, when we are asleep, we are actually in a fasted state. And that is why when we wake up, we normally take breakfast. And actually, breakfast was developed from the word break the fast. Because you, when you sleep, you're in a fasted state. Because you're not eating, you're in a rested state. So when you incorporate the time that you last had your meal, most people, depending on the time that uh, you had your meal and uh, you go to sleep, the duration of the time that you were sleeping is also included in your in a fasting uh, time. So what you do, it's good uh, to uh, go to sleep early or whatever time, but you have your meal early. So if you have your meal early, it's actually even recommended. So from that time or uh, when you have your last meal is actually a time when the fast actually starts. From the last time you consume something then you go to sleep normally uh, when you wake up depending on how your schedule is if you have breakfast at uh, 5 a.m or 6 or 7 a.m what you now do is you extend it further to three more hours and before that time make sure you take time to actually uh, pray and actually spend time with god and I shared a video on how to prepare for a time of prayer and fasting. And I mentioned how it's good to have a plan and to work the plan. And when you're having a plan, you uh, during that time, and that is before you have your uh, you get into the fast, you should already decide uh, what kind of fast you want to get into, the duration of your fast, the purpose of your fast and you've mentally prepared yourself, you've committed the fast uh, to God, and uh, he has released the grace upon you so that you can be able to carry out the fast. When you get these things out of the way, and uh, you know your why, and you know your purpose, when you get down now to actually uh, your time of fasting, you already know what you're getting into. So uh, before the three hours are over, schedule a time, where you will actually uh, spend time with uh, the Father, spend time reading the Word of God, and that just depends on uh, the time that you have available. And it's always good to pick at uh, the early morning time because perhaps your day will get busy and you will not be able to get a moment uh, during the course of your day. So the early morning is a is a more preferable time, or you can decide uh, the duration of that time you're going to spread it throughout the day. You're the one who knows your schedule. You're the one who knows your lifestyle. Fit it accordingly to your lifestyle. That is one way for you to be effective in a time of prayer 
and fasting so in this uh, system i shared the three seven ten strategy so the first step is uh, start with three hours like i said from the moment you went to bed from the moment you went to bed you entered into a fasted state and from the moment you started you uh, ate your last meal you now are actually in a fasted state so you can actually see that uh, you've been fasted from the last meal to the time also you are asleep and now instead of just uh, getting into the breakfast you extend it a further uh, three hours and you can actually add up that time and uh, you know that uh, you have spent an extended time uh, without having uh, consumed anything which is actually a sacrifice of your will and i uh, remember one uh, thing that fasting does it, it afflicts your soul this uh, can also be found in isaiah 58 because we are surrendering our will we are breaking our will we are breaking our soul and we are submitting ourselves uh, to god so that um, god uh, can um, speak through us he can deal with something that uh, he wants to uh, deal with in our lives because uh, actually when you're not having consumed anything you're actually weak and you're weak in your body you're weak in your will and so you're able uh, to cooperate with god you're able to cooperate with the holy spirit and it is actually a sacrifice uh, so do and work with what um, is uh, is good with you and what is a sacrifice and um, do this um, for an, a period of time depending on the number of days that you're taking and um, after you do that after the three hours then you can just break your fast and continue with um, what uh, you need uh, you continue with your day and um, the next day you pick it up the same way so you'll just be extending actually three hours and when you find that this is easy to do you can uh, go now into extending your breakfast to seven hours and uh, to 10 hours to 12 hours to 24 hours and uh, you build it up in Jesus uh, mighty name so that is something that uh, you can uh, try out if you find it difficult to maintain a time of prayer and fasting or to be in a fasted state for an extended uh, period of time and uh, when you are able to do the extended three hours and you win you actually feel motivated and you're not feeling guilty that you are uh, that you broke the fast so you are excited even to do another fast and even to go on to the fast the next day so as 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 far as you do it or the more you do it and it becomes easy then you push it a further and um of course you're doing this by the leading of the spirit but i have found this to be effective especially even also if you've been in a time like now we've been in a time of um at the festive season we are used to uh eating and drinking and just feasting and fellowshipping uh through um having uh meals together with our family our loved ones and our friends when you uh, incorporate this extended three hour fast in the morning and then you break your fast after three hours it is going to be very effective and it's going to be very motivating to you because you're going to uh, get excited and you're going to know that you're winning and it's a small change and it's a small habit that you can develop and this is going to be a great blessing so let me know in the comments below uh, what you think or if you have tried out a similar way and it's always a uh, good uh, for you to uh, to develop something that works for you so share in the comments below let us interact in the comments below and um, I'll be happy uh, to uh, just uh, get your uh, views on this and it will be such a great uh, blessing so please for more videos please remember to subscribe like and share and thanks for watching God bless you